Card Player TV is here at Foxwoods for the World Poker Finals. Day 1B just came to an end and 215 players made it through to tomorrow. That means that the Day 2 field will consist of 366 players and the chip leader is Teddy Adalis with over 180,000 chips. TJ Cloutier is also still in contention. It's okay. I never held anything all day, but I increased my chips, so I'm fine. So how'd you increase your chips if you never had a hand? Situational play. Were you just stealing pots, or did you ever have a showdown? Every once in a while, I made a straight at one time. They counted. That's about it. Yeah. Uh, I had aces one time, kings one time, and queens one, one time. And Did they all hold up? Yeah. I, I won the annies every time with them, so I couldn't get hurt with them. So there wasn't a lot of action at your table? Oh, there was a ton of action. Just not with you? Just I just, uh, nothing I could do about it. I mean, I'm, I'm happy. I got 54,000. I started with 30,000. So you almost doubled I never up. held anything. So I, I would if they, if they would have told me I could have thirty thousand and not play today, come back for thirty thousand tomorrow, I've been happy as hell. Well, look at all the people. I have to, you know, at least forty percent of, of the field's gone. So that's fine. I'm happy. So you excited going into tomorrow? You think you're going to build up your chip stacks to more tomorrow? Oh yeah. I plan on it. Tim West has also made it through to day two. Now, a few hands before t today ended, it, you were all in. What was going on? Tell me about that hand. A uh, guy made it 2,300 at 3,600. Another guy called. They're two pretty tight players. I had two queens in the big blind. So I, I, I decided to do, uh, I had like 25,000. I decided to move all in. I could have been a small raise, but I think it would have made it too obvious that I had two queens. And they both got out of there? And one guy thought forever and folded two jacks. Which Did he show him? No, but he showed him somebody behind him, and, I, and he's the type of guy that would never lie about that, so I, I, I trusted him that he had jacks, and he folded, and the other guy had probably like a small pair, so he folded past two. So how many chips did you end day one be with? 28,600, and I you start with 30, 30. but I was down to six, so oh, really? I'm uh, very happy right now with 28,000. So how'd you get back up there? Any key hands? Uh, yeah, I had aces against kings. I was and they held to, up? I was down to seven, I was, uh, yeah, I was at 7,000. Actually, I flopped a set of aces, and the guy was drawing dead. I was at 7,000, and I got up to like 13, and I had aces against kings. That's pretty sweet. So, so you, Yeah, exactly. So tomorrow, the blinds aren't even that high when you start on day two, mm -hmm. so you're still mm -hmm. sitting pretty good? Yeah, it, I play you know, I play internet tournaments predominantly, and uh, and in tournaments like this, you know, the blinds aren't nearly as big as, as they seem online because you, you have a lot more chips to play with and there's bigger fields. How do you have to adjust your play when you come out and play a live tournament since you do predominantly play internet tournaments? Uh, you have to slow it down. It's uh, on the internet. It's going to be a lot faster, high pace. But you know, in a live setting, it's going to come a lot slower. People are going to act slower, you know, because on online you have time restraints. You know, yeah. and then people are going to you know pretend like they have something and act you know like they got something in Hollywood. Take a long time. And they can't do that That's, online. Their hands no. mucked. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly, exactly. They take it from you if you do that. We'll be back tomorrow with the day two action from the World Poker Finals. I'm Lizzie Harrison for Card Player TV.